EV makers love to tout their car's driving range, but today I'll tell you why in reality you only get a fraction of the published driving range, sometimes even half. This is the stuff car makers and dealers really don't want to tell you when you're shopping for an EV. That's why today I'll share with you some of the major factors that drain your EV battery faster and significantly reduce your driving range. On the flip side, I'll also share tips and tricks on how you can maximize your range. Put simply, an EV's driving range is the number of miles it can travel on a fully charged battery. Let's put some context around it by looking at one of the best selling BEVs in America, Tesla Model Y. Now, the long range version of the Model Y can give you a driving range of up to 330 miles. On paper, the published driving range might sound pretty good, and the car can theoretically give you that range in perfect driving conditions. And in this real world, this car, or any EV for that matter, will likely give you less range. That's because many factors impact the actual driving range you get. Let me show you what I mean. For example, one of the factors that significantly impacts your EV's driving range is you, or more specifically, your speed and driving habits. Now, I recognize that quick acceleration is a big advantage all EVs have over standard gas-powered cars. It's one of the things that makes it fun to drive an EV. But here's the thing. If you have a need for speed, just know that driving at high speeds drains your EV battery faster than not. Driving at higher sustained speeds drains more battery power than if you're just doing many stop and goes around town. This is counterintuitive for many people because it's the opposite to how a gasoline powered car works. Many people already know that gas powered cars typically have higher highway efficiency than city efficiency. But EVs have higher city ranges than highway ranges. Reason is, EVs have regenerative braking that recaptures some of the kinetic energy. Put simply, EV range decreases with speed. The fact remains that currently no EV on the road is ever lived up to its full estimated range at highway speeds. Weather also has a large impact to your driving range because of its impact on the battery. If you live in one of the colder states of this country, this is an extra factor you have to watch out for. Once the temperature drops below 41 degrees, an EV's range can drop anywhere from 20 to 35 percent. That's a sizable drop. Look at the Chevrolet Bolt EV, for example. Its driving range in the summer is around 259 miles, but in winter, even with heat turned off, the range on a full charge can go down to around 155 miles. And once temperatures get down to around 14, degrees, the saga gets even worse. If you're wondering why cold temperatures affect all these driving ranges, even preconditioned ones, the reason has to do with battery efficiency. It's almost analogous to a runner. If you're a runner, you know it's harder to run in the cold. You need more fuel and energy to keep you going and to keep your stamina up. In a way, batteries have a very similar story. Put simply, battery efficiency is how well the battery can convert chemical energy into electrical energy. The thing is, electrons have to swim in a gel or gel electrolyte, so all that electricity can be generated. But the colder the temperature, the slower the electrons get. And at the same time, the denser the electrolyte gel gets. This makes it harder for the electrons to move through the gel, and so the electrons need more energy. And that reduces an EV battery's performance. If you live in a colder state, you know that colder weather usually also means ice and snow. And with that comes slippery roads. Many vehicles lose traction when driving on such roads. No matter how hard you try to keep your vehicle straight, your wheels inevitably spin which also reduces your EV's range. But this can be controlled to a certain degree. When you leave traction control activated driving an EV, it'll prevent excessive wheel spinning. But that's not all that winter has working against you and your EV. Many people forget that winter tires are usually heavier than summer tires. Driving through all that snow with the added weight of winter tires means added resistance when driving. And adding resistance means your EV needs to draw more power from its battery to keep rolling. Here's another major reason why EVs quickly lose driving range and Colder temperatures. Heating. When it's cold outside, and you're like most people, you like to be warm and toasty. The problem is, unlike gasoline fueled cars, the heaters in your EV get their power from the main battery, and that lowers driving range. To combat this problem, some EVs, like the Nissan Leaf, use a heat pump that theoretically draws less energy from the battery. And other EVs, like the Kia Nero EV, even completely shut off climate control in Eco Plus mode to keep as much juice in your battery for as long as possible, even though you might be freezing to death. But you don't have to go that far to increase driving range in your EV. Some people choose to precondition their EV. Basically, it's when you turn on the heater while your EV is still plugged in for a few minutes before you leave home. That way, you don't use the battery power for heating. Once you get in your car, it's already heated, so you can keep the comfort without losing as much driving range as you would otherwise. Did you know that cold weather actually has an effect on all vehicles, not just EVs? The U.S. Department of Energy found out that at 20 degrees, gasoline-powered cars lose up to 24% of their fuel economy on short trips. Most people 
people don't realize this since gas stations are fairly accessible. The good news is that colder weather shouldn't permanently affect your EV's driving range. When the season passes and the temperatures rise, then an EV's driving range should go back to its usual. But now consider this. In the wintertime as temperatures drop, if you like to speed on the highway, those two factors alone can drain your EV driving range down to half. Of course, it depends on actual speed and outside temperature, but it's a real scenario. Here's something else that has a big impact on your EV's driving range, your battery's charging capacity. When you plug in your smartphone, the minute it hits 100%, you know it's charged. But it's a different story when it comes to an electric vehicle. In a nutshell, you shouldn't regularly charge your EV to the max. Your EV's driving range gets seriously impacted if you keep charging to 100%. To help you prolong battery life, automakers install complex battery systems that limit just how much you can charge your battery. And because of these systems, it won't max out. That's why it takes about the same amount of time for an EV battery to charge from 80% to 100% as it does to charge from 10% to 80%. In most cases, if your dashboard says your EV is 100% charged, the actual charge level is usually close to 80%. Now, if you need a quick power up, then fast charging is an option many people take. But be careful, fast charging can seriously degrade your EV's battery life and driving range. Lithium ion batteries can only take so much power before it's too much. They just can't tolerate high voltages for extended periods of time. Lithium ion batteries are at their optimal working capacity when they're around mid-range of charge. That's why fast charging gets automatically cut off at 80% and then goes to slow charging for the remaining 20%. So hold on being quick to jump to fast charging if you want to preserve your battery, life, range, and money. Another factor that has a direct impact on EV driving range is the age of the battery. It comes as no surprise, the older the battery, the lower the driving range. This applies to all EVs, regardless of brand. For example, back in 2019, Tesla published a chart that showed that after 200,000 miles, Model S and Model X lost about 10% of their total driving range. In the same year, Tesla also promised a revolutionary million mile battery. But almost four years later, it looks like they're still miles away from making that promise a reality. One Canadian researcher did some in-depth tests to see how much driving range is impacted by a battery's age, and the results are surprising. In the test, some commercially manufactured lithium-ion prototype pouch battery cells were put through up to 1,500 cycles. That comes out anywhere between 120 to 450,000 miles. After the cycles were complete, detailed x-ray scans captured the wear inside the cells through the use of a particle accelerator. The x-rays found cracks and mechanical degradation. Extra electrolyte in the batteries had been, in effect, sucked up into the electrolyte light assembly cracks. With less electric light available in the battery, the battery's total capacity and range decreased. Now when it comes to old batteries, there's always the option of completely replacing it and thereby reset your EV's driving range. But there's the thing, EV battery replacement is nowhere cheap. According to Elon Musk, replacing one of the battery models in a Tesla costs anywhere between five and seven thousand dollars. And each Tesla uses between four to five battery modules per vehicle. So for a complete battery replacement, you're looking at anywhere between twenty to thirty five thousand dollars and that's the price of a gas powered economy car itself since the average american drives about fourteen thousand miles a year at that rate the average tesla would take about fourteen years before it hits two hundred thousand miles at which point it will have ten percent less driving range so while replacing your battery is an option at that point it's likely it won't be necessary on average what about running your AC on hot summer days? Tesla says that at 95 degrees, running the AC decreases your Model S range by about 1%. But a different study done in 2019 found that as soon as the temperature reached 95, the EV's driving range can decrease by 17%. Well, that doesn't sound great. It's actually not as bad compared to gas-powered car. Traditional cars can actually lose over 25% when you drive with your AC on. Another factor is powertrain efficiency. The powertrain is a system that provides power to an EV's wheels. The more efficient the powertrain is, the less energy that's required to get an EV moving. On the flip side, the less efficient the powertrain, the lower the EV's range will be. But let me share you some of the tips and tricks to improve your EV's driving range. First off, use cruise control or autopilot. While it won't give you the same feeling as pressing down on the pedal, it'll save you driving range. When these modes are engaged, you should keep your throttle or input and braking to gentle. Once you hit a flat highway, turn on cruise control is the best bet to getting a smooth ride and maintain driving range. Tip number two has to do with aerodynamics. The less wind resistance, the better the driving range. That's why each and every EV on the road is specifically shaped to reduce wind resistance. 
It also means that anything you add on top of your car can create more resistance and negatively impact your car's range, like a bike rack or a kayak roof rack, for example. One study found that roof racks can actually affect the efficiency of wind resistance and reduce fuel efficiency in a gasoline fuel vehicle by up to 25%. A similar logic applies when you roll down your windows when you're driving faster than 45. The wind enters your vehicle and lowers your driving range. It can decrease your driving range by up to 10% by added friction. Tip number three, don't forget to check your EV's tire pressure. For every pound per square inch, underinflated tires can cause your mileage to drop by two tenths of a percent. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, overinflated tires are also bad news. That's because having too much air pressure wears down your tires and reduces grip. Now, low tire pressure warnings only appear when your tire pressure is significantly low. But you want to catch the problem before it gets to that point. That's why experts recommend you check your tire pressure at least once a month. So how do you know what tire pressure is optimal for your EV? Check Check the tire pressure placard inside the driver's door game on your owner's manual. Your best bet is to use your automaker's suggested tires on your EV too. You'll also want to check your EV's wheel alignment. If you start to feel your EV pull towards the left or the right, as you're driving a straight line at highway speeds, chances are your wheels are out of alignment. The same applies to feeling a pull when you brake hard. Having your wheels properly aligned ensures the tire's tread surface is as flat on the road as possible. If it's not, it wears down and lowers your driving range. But now you tell me, if you own an EV, how much driving range do you effectively get due to your driving habits compared to the published range? How much lower do you get in the winter? Please share by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.